How you doing tonight, guys? Have a few anodizing projects to show off uh, tonight. Some new stuff, some stuff I just haven't done before. Got to run a little wild on some of this stuff, and that's what we did. Uh, going to show off the Atwood Sporculas. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, first off, I'm going to start with Peter Atwood's uh, anodizing and just kind of show you. I didn't want to mimic what he does, but more take inspiration from what he does and try to do my own thing on them. So that's really neat. Neat little color fade there. And you may be asking, what is this? I'm not entirely sure. It's called a sporcula. From what I uh, researched online, I think it's um, obviously a fork on this side and more like a spoon for ice cream or something like that. Um, maybe a slight pry bar, obviously a bottle opener, and uh, I'm not completely sure, but I know they're really neat little gadgets, little keychain tools. So that's Peter's work. Cool thing. It's kind of a side in thing, side thing. I did a, a Grayman for a client a while back, and somehow or another, it ended up in Peter Atwood's personal collection. So that's kind of neat. He has some of my work. I don't know if he still has it. At one time he had it. It has at least passed through his hands. Kind of neat. So this is the uh, flamed. Again, this is Peter's work, not mine. I want to get a micro torch and start playing around with some flame anodizing. It's just so hard to be different because there's a lot of guys who are doing it and do it really well. Uh, but still, maybe I can come up with something a little bit different. But I do like flame anodizing. In fact, my strider I've been carrying around. You know, I like the flame anodized. All right, so where do we start? Here is a green one with a slight pattern in it. If you can see it in the right light, it really pops. My camera is washing this pattern out. There you go. So it's almost like a Mountain Dew green with this design in it. And in real life, it's a lot more apparent than this. Eh, it's kind of hard to see. Maybe you can see it there. Anyway, it's kind of neat. Here is a splash. So this is a green and blue. This is like a toxic green. That other one was more of a Mountain Dew green. Let's see if we can maybe see those together. It's not going to focus. Neat. These splash ones are really fun to do. A little time consuming on all of these, but I think the results are worth it. Here's another pattern piece. This is like a bright bronze gold a lot lighter than the normal like the nuke bronze that I do this one is really neat I like this one a lot it doesn't show up that well I don't think but it's almost like a teal green blue spider web on top of the gold bronze again it's that higher voltage bronze right around I think around 50, 55 volts, somewhere around there, if I remember right. Anyways, maybe, again, in real life, it's a lot better. I don't have the proper light box and stuff to really show it off. There you go, maybe there you can see it. Really neat, that was a fun one to do. And of course, if I got to run wild, I had to do a nuked one. I had to pick one to use, probably be the nuked one. I love that finish. I like all of them, but to really beat it up, bang it up, scratch it up on your keys, this would just fit right in. I don't know, a little biased. All right, so here's two. I'm going to redo these two unless uh, the owner of these, this collection here, these are all spoken for. Um, unless he sees these and really likes them, 
but I'm not completely happy with them. Just going to show them off, and then I'm going to bring, this one's going to look pretty similar, but I want to go to the next level. Like, I feel like there's a few more things I can do to this, and maybe even still have this color scheme, this blue and bronze. What the heck's it gone in there? And, uh... Just maybe bring it to the next level. I, I've got something in mind for it. I think it's going to look a little bit better. So you can see how clean all my lines are and all that. It's always fun when you just get to do whatever. <laughs> and within doing whatever, I was just really focusing on technique and playing around and got a little carried away. And I do not like this one. I showed it on Instagram. A few folks liked it. Uh, I feel like it's a little too busy. It's neat because of the technical aspect. And if you know anything about anodizing, how much technique is going on in, in this piece. I just think it's too much, though. I should have Windexed it. Um, anyways, it's a real nice, clean color fade. Down to the deep bronze with some pattern work on it and sometimes just because you can do something probably not always just doesn't mean that you should so you live and you learn good thing it's just titanium I can blast it and go again and uh, that's kind of the fun thing and that's kind of why these were here just to kind of flesh out some anodizing ideas I had and to play around with and uh yeah so it's neat if the color fade and the pattern work in it and stuff but i just it's too much even if it was just the color fade or maybe pattern work underneath the color fade something like that you know or something like maybe even peter's piece here anyways Let's move on. Oh yeah, if you like stuff like this, all the other Dirty Birds sold. The color chart fade is still left. This one, I liked them all. But this one really uh, was probably my favorite. Just because it's neat to see the whole spectrum of anodizing in one piece. So you go from your high voltage, like 100 volts, all the way down to maybe 13 volts. About 13 is where you start seeing that first deep bronze. And then it fades on up. All the way up into 100 volts. So kind of neat. Anyways, if you want this, I will put it the price in the bottom. They were going for 125 shipped. That's what that one will go for. And uh, yeah, let's move on. Here's some nuked knives. Hold on. I've got some really cool flashlights. I just want to show these guys off first so I don't believe I've done a nuked 801 in bronze yet I did a few in blue I believe maybe two um really neat this is a fun knife I'm gonna have to get one of these they always come out so nice and again I don't mean to stress on it over and over again most of you guys already know this rides on bearings all the knives that I do and I acid wash the blades this and that I always protect your contact surfaces all your locking surfaces so everything functions the exact same in fact in the Sebenzas I polish up the washers I just treat the knife like it was mine so usually I polish up those washers and uh, just make sure everything's running nice and smooth and uh, so that's that everything locks up the same actually if you take this clip off it is still black underneath the clip where this bulge is so that way it still slides in and out of your pocket just like it did so it's not roughed up or anything you know it's exactly factory anyways ZT801 impressed with this one uh, back in the day I had a large griptilian with the wilkins conversion kit on it and i had the mini grip with the wilkins conversion kit on it 
And uh, this is the titanium conversion kit for the Delica. I've never seen one of these. I think it's a fairly new product from Kevin Wilkins. And uh, again, I just I felt like it had to be anodized. This is not my knife. Come in just to have the blade acid washed. But he sent another knife in as well. You know, I just felt like it it went with it. Especially with this gorgeous, gorgeous orange peel finish. So I machine stone wash this, which is a lot different than my hand tumbling that I do for the um, nuked finishes. And you can see the difference. This is more of a rough type finish and that's more of a consistent you know machine stone washed finish and again it's neat because these will go to the same owner he's kind of has the same style uh, but two different knives and the, the look is different or at least I believe it's different I left the clip black and uh, if the owner sees this and you want me to blast it and ask to stone wash it that is no problem at all I left it black just based on the thought that it kind of tied in this black piece that's the black backspacer to the clip you know because that backspacer is the only black piece on the knife which isn't bad like the Spyderco Tecno has that blue uh, backspacer you know it doesn't have to tie in anything so however you want it. I do know this paint kind of chips off and rubs off fairly quickly but at any rate this Wilkins kit, I believe it's fairly expensive. I didn't ask the owner, but I remember when I bought my kit, it was two times what the the Griptilian cost itself. But it does transform it into a completely different knife. If you know how Spyderco's FRN knives are, like the one I have in my pocket here, dun dun dun, no surprise. Stretch two. It's at night, just hanging out. They have this little flex, and it's not really anything to worry about on a thin slicing type knife you know it's FRN it has nested liners in here it just flexes a little bit it's, it's not play it just flexes but I tell you what this titanium conversion kit stops all that so this knife is super solid side to side there is no up and down uh, it really just transforms your Delica so I don't know if you love the Delica and you want a titanium I can attest to the fit and finish on the Wilkins uh, scale conversions. And there's a lot going on underneath this, these scales. Like, I, I could, but I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't take on that job to, to make Delica scales. It's just with the nested liners, everything, there's just so much that can go wrong in there. So, anyways, and you get new hardware. So, you get these slotted screws. So that's that and got a small StarTac Sebenza in bronze the bronze nuke I think it's gorgeous I gotta hustle up because I know I only have two minutes left on my memory card here so gorgeous knife banging around in your pocket Alrighty, so these are two Magizmo lights, and I love how clean these come out. This is not my idea for these color combinations here. I just kind of put it in, um, put it in the piece. I guess I was told exactly what to do here. So, first of all, I blasted the whole piece, stone washed the whole piece, uh, did a whole bunch of masking and anodizing this looks like a, a pretty simple job but there is so much going on in here and then I sat and polished all the way around the high areas so it's blue anodized on the inside there polished on the highs polished up the screws with the same sandpaper that I did all this polishing on the edges and you know the shiny kind of contrast with the body here and then it has the light anodizing to go with his uh, nuke and single he also had a small done a while back so this will kind of be a set and then uh, he's got another one here and done the same way gorgeous lights 
really interested in maybe owning one of these one day. So again, you see the blue in the tailpiece and the blue around the ring. Polishing on the highs. Just really nice pieces. And again, I do free refurbs on everything, so probably get in trouble offering that with some of these pattern pieces, but I can always duplicate that. Alrighty, so that's it. 15 minute video. I think we got everything in. Let me know what your favorite piece is. Do you guys like this wild anodizing? I'm not so sure it'll work on a knife all that well. Maybe uh, when I start doing titanium bolsters, and, and please no emails, it's going to be a while. Um, but maybe like on a titanium bolster, or pocket clip, or maybe do something wild with that. Is it crinite? Crinite? I don't know. Uh, but it certainly is fun on these little pieces. I think I'm going to pick up a, a titanium pen at some point for myself and do something real fun on it. Maybe I'll pick up an Atwood pry tool at some point. There's certainly this anodizing style is fun on these smaller keychain tools. Really neat. I wish you guys could see this in real life here. It is certainly different. <clears throat> so that's it, guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, lots of videos to come. It's just so overwhelming. There's so much to do. That's it, though. Have a great day. Thank you for your time, guys. See ya.